It's going to be the first flight of the Vulcan with a 50mm EDF. EDF. Okay, so we're just going to go for a reasonably flat and a little bit of speed. Here it is, it's flying. Oh, How about it? Good job. I'm gonna come in the land. Landing. What an achievement, hey? Scratch, built, scratch <laughs> design. <laughs> No one's made any plans for this before. And it flies nicely. So it's a 50 mil FMS fan, mm -hmm. just in this section, and that drops out. It can be swapped out for PSS. Bifurcated duct, two ducts there, and then out through the jet pipes, which I think were slightly scaled up, weren't they? Yeah. Very slightly. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's uh, so just. What's, what's the brand of the motor and the. It's an it? FMS. FMS motor and Predator speed controller, 40 amp speedy. Right. Um, and then just two servos. Battery size? Battery size is a key. That's a bolt high voltage 1000 power, so we weren't sure how it would fly. Now we might be able to downgrade to either a bigger pack or a heavier one. Beauty. Yeah. And uh -huh. that's the 3S, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, coupled um, flying surfaces that operate independently. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to do that here, but to get the scale outline, we've still got movable surfaces, but they're coupled. But they have to be coupled at the trailing edge, so the ailerons move a lot more than the elevons. Ah, so there's uh, attachments. So at the there's a little carbon rod in the back end of the aileron, ah, right. and it runs into a little 3D printed slide in the elevon. Got it. So when the uh... So this this surface is the only one that's actuated, and then it drives and the aileron. And then it drives the other one. That's that's brilliant. <laughs> it does limit how much throw you can put in on your elevators, but your ailerons are working as elevators too. So it, yeah. it seems to work quite nicely. And there's a bit of differential built in as well, I think, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. 